Hey guys, uh, my name's Dan and I'm one of the keepers on the domestic section here at the zoo. Um, and we've recently welcomed six new arrivals. So in this tank, we have six axolotls. Quite an unusual looking animal. Um, they're also sometimes known as the Mexican walking fish, but they are in fact an amphibian. As yet, we're unsure as to what sexes we have. They're still just babies. They were only um, only hatched at uh, start of this year. So we have, we've got three of, of the wild, the wild coloration, which is these really, really dark mottled ones. And then we have three um, leucistic ones. So they are, are white coloured with, with, the, with the black eyes. The, the natural colour is this dark colour. You wouldn't naturally find that white colour in the wild. These guys are actually critically endangered in the wild due to, to, to various things. Um, habitat loss, um, pollution being a big one, and also um, invasive species. So things like carp and um, tilapia that have been introduced uh, that are basically eating, or eating not only the axolotls but also their food source as well. So you will only find these in the wild in one small southern Mexican city um, called Xochimilco and that's the only place that you'll actually find them in the wild. They have an amazing ability to, to regenerate. It's not massively uncommon amongst um, amphibians, reptiles and invertebrates but the way these do it is particularly impressive. Not only can they re regenerate parts of a tail or a leg which is on the scale of, of those creatures not, not a major thing but these guys can, can um, regenerate full limbs, um, spinal cord, brain, jaw, basically if it was once there, it can be again. And they can do it to such an extent that there is no scarring and no physical evidence that it's, it's not the original part. They can also do that multiple times. So quite often as babies, they've got very poor eyesight. It's if they sense movement or smell. So if there's a bit of a frenzy for food and they're all just grabbing, they'll quite often get little toes, limbs nipped. It's not a problem. It's back in no time and they're absolutely no worse to wear for it. It's obviously something that's studied very, very widely. Um, across across the world in, in labs and things to see if we can if we can harness any of that and, and use it to our advantage because um, axolotls really are, are winning on that front. So unlike many amphibians which can come out onto the land like frogs, toads, a lot of salamanders and newts, these guys are completely um, aquatic. They will spend their entire life under the water and will use these these frilly little little gills that increases the surface area to allow them to absorb as much of the oxygen from the water as they possibly can. Uh, we feed them on uh, various things, mixture of bloodworm, um, other small small items that you can get get pretty much for your for your fish at home. Um, they'll also eat little bits of, of beef, prawn, that sort of thing. And this morning they had some Oreo worms, which they thoroughly enjoyed. Mm -hmm. 